Don't blink, it's your boy Ying. Welcome to another TikTok live and another mukbang. That's the thing, well, because we're having a fantastic day on this 23rd June 2024. We're eating mom lasagna. She made some lasagna for us. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a super cool stream once again. Everything that we're doing in life are entirely up to you guys. You get to set the subject. Yesterday we did it in two hours and a half. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm possibly gonna do like a 40 minutes an hour. <laughs> It is so nice. I don't know how much time I'm going to get the Wi-Fi for. Because there is going to be some thunderstorm. And thunderstorm often equate to no electricity. Mmm. Oh, my mom. <laughs> this is amazing. Mom makes the best lasagna, dude. I, I promise you guys. I think it's the bechamel sauce. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, tomorrow, let's the say, let's say, Jean. Which means that tomorrow's job is gonna be in French. And this is what I'm gonna make. Then I'm gonna make tomorrow the live. Because live in French. It's La Saint Jean, which is like Quebec. Um holiday, national day. And since I'm French Canadian, I wanna show you guys that I'm French Canadian, so we're gonna do a entire day in French. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Honestly guys. I'm getting annoying, but my mom's a hell of a cook. I'm not even a fan of, of uh, lasagna. I know I'm weird, right? I'm not even a fan of lasagna, but it's still super good. Mmm. I gotta give myself some water. It's gotta be thirsty. It's funny because. Oh! God damn, that was close. I'm off in a mess. Like. <laughs> How much you consume, like liquids? And I guess it depends from pre person to per the person, right? But still. I'm super hungry. Again, we're being uh, conservative. Because I, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to be up. We woke up this morning. It's, it's, uh, it's a tough day today. We woke up to the sound of... Um, of rain. I wanted to film the rain, so I got out. Then we went to sleep. We slept for a couple hours. We heard some thunder, so we went back outside because I wanted to hear the thunder, right? And uh, yeah, so we, we went back outside and uh, we filmed. But I realized that my phone didn't have a lot of battery. And if you don't close the phone, I don't know why. I'm gonna film a video. If I don't close the phone, hi, hi, I'm how are you, my dude? Hope you're having a wonderful day, my guy. Um, yeah, so if you don't close the phone, uh, sadly, uh, it doesn't take the video, so Little problem when it comes to, uh, life, or little problem when it comes to the, the grand scheme of thing, but it's still a problem Um, so I had to stay up So, I did stay up, uh, that's why we're having a small meal, because I don't know what time I'm gonna go to sleep uh, but today A Sunday, uh, so it's kinda cool, it's really, really, really cool, right? Um, tomorrow, I'm excited about tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know what content I'm going to do. I was supposed to go to my father's house, because, listen, for kind of day, I like to see my mom, because my mom, she's more Anglophone than Francophone. My father's more Francophone, and to me, like, La Saint-Jean, which is, again, the National Day of Quebec, is more in French. Uh, has something to do with being French-Canadian, right? And, yeah. Okay, Canada, for me, is English. I mean... It's both, like, the, the national language is be French and English, but if you look at Canada, if you look at in general, it's, so, oh, a lot of country, like, shares, like, if you look at the Philippines, Philippines is going to be Tagalog and English. If you look at IT, it's going to be Creole and French. If you look at it, Italy, it's going to be Italian and English. If you look at um, um, Cuba, it's going to be Spanish and English. And no, the craziest thing is... It's nuts to me, like, again, if I'm not, I'm not trying to offend some, some people, but imagine, like, so, <laughs> laughing, French, Spanish, and Italian, okay, mmm, I spoiled it, I did spoil it, god damn, I spoiled it, like a dumbass, um, French, Spanish, um, Italian, right, um, Greek, 
Greek a bit less, but they're all coming from Latin. So you would expect like Romanian. Romanian is also one. If you hear Romanian, if you if you if you speak French, right? Um, I'm I'm, I'm going to tell you my story because again, it's my story. Uh, but if you do speak French, is it, it often a lot more often than not is going to be like very similar to Romanian. You're going to have some more in Romanian that you understand. Be more in Spanish that you understand. It'll be a lot of words that are similar enough for you to be like, hey, I can see like there's similar roots, right? So for, for Spanish country, for a, a, yeah, like a Latin country, I was expecting people to speak French more than English because it's, it is easier. But th then again, it makes sense because, for example, I was working with the Romanian people. You guys already heard the story. But if I'm able to be like, yo, I kind of understand what you mean, um, it's, it's, Understanding somebody is actually super, super, super simple. You just have to understand a couple of words. You understand their tone. By understanding their tone of voice, by understanding the general discussion, like how it's the secret, right? The secret is actually to look at how people, other people react. So, for example, if I'm talking to you in a language, no, if I'm talking to somebody else in a language that you don't understand, right? You're not sure how, what I'm speaking about. You look at the facial reaction of both people. Look at the, the tone of the voice used. If both people seem angry, they're fighting. If both people are laughing, they're joking, right? And I know it's, it's pretty obvious, but at the same time, like, this is how you're going to be able to guess what's going on. Hey, Stella, how are you? Guys, welcome in, Stella. And yeah, um, long story short, like you're, you're able to understand the, uh, where the conversation is going. And by being able to understand where the conversation is going, you're able to... Ish. Hey, Bo, uh, I have bad eyesight. How are you? I'm doing good, Salah. Th thank you for asking. Uh, I love the Hello Kitty um, PSP. How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday and you didn't have as much thunderstorm as we, as we had. You seem super kind. It's my pleasure. Um, Nazrovia, as they say in Russia. So yeah, so long story short, like to me, Canada, yes, it's more, it's both French and English, but it's also, it's, it's, if you look at Canada, right? If you look at generally speaking, um, a lot of people are going to be speaking English in more places. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's two language, two language that are considered uh, national language, right? But, uh, oh, thanks for the share, Stella. You're so sweet. Uh, and, yeah, it, it's it's basically like, you, you, for example, a country. A country, for example, if you take America, right? United States. The United States is made up of 52 states. I'm Canadian, okay? I don't give a fuck about the states, but... So, there's 52 states, right? right? If in 50 of those 52 states, their language is English, right? And there's two states, other people are speaking another language, then the general language of the country is going to be, um, it's going to be English because it is a majority of their states that are speaking this language. Yeah. So when you talk to me about Canada, I, I think it's more Anglophone than Francophone. So when you're celebrating uh, Canada Day, which is the 1st of July, which is, um, tomorrow is La Saint-Jean. Uh, so in a week, in a week time is going to be uh, Canada Day. So um, with tomorrow is going to be f in French, right? And then, uh, no, tomorrow's going to be in French and then next Monday is going to be in English. I like to see my mom for Canada Day because she's more Anglophone than Francophone. She, she mastered French. She speaks French, but I don't know. Growing up, we were more like speaking in English. She thanks to her that I, that I speak English. And it's thanks to her. So I always want to, to not embrace... Oui, je suis francophone uh, québécois uh, d'origine. Mais je peux parler anglais, je peux parler français. Uh, C'est comme tu veux. Comme tu veux, ça ne marche pas. Uh, and my father, he speaks more French. So when I talk with my, oh, with my father, if I speak English, oof, oh, I'm going to get, get in trouble. My mom said that, that's why. I think um, to learn a language, to, to maintain a language, like, for example, si tu parles français, ben, l'important, c'est que tu continues de parler français de temps en temps. Tu débousseront, non, je suis Montréalais. Fait que c'est un petit peu la même affaire. J'ai pas de boss, malheureusement. Euh, mais salut, ça va bien? Attends, je t'ai dit. T'as l'air d'un chic personne. Laissez go. Chic personne. Hein? Sérieux? Ben oui. Ben oui, ok. Ah oui, j'ai vu ça à Montréal. Regarde comment il fait beau dehors. Ben oui. Mais genre, comme je te disais, comme, si, si tu veux garder un langage, il faut que tu le parles. 
Tu peux pas, tu peux pas passer, euh, tu peux pas passer genre ta fucking vie à parler, euh, à parler anglais puis dire oh ben je parlais français avant mais je l'ai oublié. Fait qu'il faut quand même que tu, tu, tu maîtrises les deux, faut quand même que tu, tu pratiques, que ça soit constant dans ton cerveau, que ça soit euh, récent, sans que tu t'oublies. Puis si tu oublies tout, ben c'est de la merde. Ouais. Fait que si tu oublies tout, t'es comme Chris, euh, j'ai oublié le français. Puis ça, ça, j, 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 pour moi, c'est pire de, de. À mes yeux. Seulement à mes yeux, ok? Oh, ça là, thank you so much, you're so sweet. Um, à mes yeux. <rire> For reals? Oh, no way, that's so nice. Ah, si tu parles français toi aussi, c'est là. Uh, but yeah, so, to me, it's worse if you understand a language and you speak a language and then you forget it. Because that sucks, dude. For reals? Dude, you're popular as fuck. You're popular as fuck. You know what? Just for that, for family, we're gonna be having more. I'll say it's juice. There might be some, uh, there might be some wine. Uh, I <laughs> Is he really your cousin? You're just fucking around. <laughs> It would be so funny. <laughs> It'd be so funny if it wasn't true. How was your day, Salah? Did you have a nice day? You didn't tell me. Like, I'm waiting for so for, 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 for real. You know what? Then, uh, he's my, my homie then. Because he's my homie and he's my homie then. It goes by family, you know? Uh, if you have a cousin, like, not even related, if you have... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> if, you had a, if you have a cousin, I don't know, is a girl. Oops. I've been calling it my boy. <laughs> no, sure, what's his name? No, 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 it's no problem. No, do not. Mm. Mm. Honestly, guys, it seems silly, but simple meal like lasagna is the shizzle. The shizzle. Stella, you're so. You, I appreciate you sharing your life, but tell me about your day. That's more important to me. The rest, c'est la vie, you know. The rest is life. Good. But what do you do? Like, good. It doesn't tell me shit. You rule the world. And for grad. Oh, congrats. 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 Oh, yeah. It is the... Shit, dude. It is the June. Shit. That's, that's a big day. Congrats. Uh, let's give, let's give it... Let's give it... A, a, like, a, like a moment of clapping for Stella and her graduation. People on the left. Oh. Well, on the right. And of course, your boy. The longest time, okay, of uh, if there was, if there was like a, 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 um, a ranking on TikTok for clapping on live, top three, bro. <laughs> there's, there's other people that do eight hours of live. <laughs> bro. Bro. You know, there's like, there's like a, a competition where people slap each other, right? And I'm like, holy shit, that sounds, that sounds rough, that sounds hardcore. And then there's competition of people clapping on live TikTok live. Yeah. Trying to get in the game, you know? Mm, 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 mm. So, Lai, thank you for being here. Appreciate you. You guys got some music. Um, If you guys are looking for good music, you're gonna go on YouTube. You're gonna write nothing, right? A comma. You're gonna write nowhere. And you're gonna do dark magic. It is the best song. Again, ugh, I feel bad because I did talk about that a lot and the um, Strawberry Moon. And that was like, that was the 21st, today is the 23 So technically two days, but one day and a half because the dark move was during the evening and uh, uh, nasty and key, come on. Uh, uh, nasty, bro, come on. So yeah, so I'm not gonna talk about him again, but yeah. Me and nothing, go, me and nothing nowhere go way back. Yesterday we were talking about friendship and uh, my apologies. How it is good to survive shit, you know? And yeah, it's important. Um, so tonight, super simple, super, super simple night. We're almost done with the tower. I got name a card for an edit. I'm gonna go with 2007, okay? I'm gonna go with Dodge Challenger in honor of the only Autobot, only Autobot that matters, Bumblebee. Sorry, Optimus, you're chill, you're cool. I like Optimus, but I prefer Bumblebee. So it's gonna be 2007 Dodge Challenger or a nice Camaro on the same movie. Uh, you decide. Ah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a question of taste. That's a question of subjective. Uh, the 
case in car is subjective and the object of the subject is me. So if I say I like a car, okay, dude, what do you want me to tell you? Um, a Lamborghini, you want me to tell you a ADA8, you want me to tell you a um, Dutch, I was gonna say like uh, a Dutch Islander. I know Islander, I don't know cars. To be honest, I don't know cars. I'm uh, that boring kind of guy. Um, but you know what? Because you, what's your favorite sport? I'm gonna go with UFC. Uh, but since it's uh, a lot of violence for a lot of people here, we're gonna go. Uh, yeah, UFC. Fuck people that think that's too yeah, violent. Fuck people that think, hey, you should find it. Dude, it's like Gladiator. Gladiator existed since ancient Rome. You're gonna tell me it wasn't violent then? Back then, they used to kill each other. So, uh, just to let you know, UFC is the shizzle. Um, of course, if you're talking to me about UFC, um, it's not the golden age, like the, what's your riz? None, none, absolutely none. Absolutely none. Um, hoping that the person doesn't watch this, hoping that the person doesn't watch my video, that way I don't think I'm too cringe and I have a choice. And I have a chance. Yeah. That's pretty much my riz. My riz is, your hotline is so bad. My hairline, not hotline, but nice try. Uh, my hairline, hairline. Hotline is a phone, but... I, th I think you're, you're pretty close, right? Yeah, but UFC, you know, like, back in back in ancient Greece, so we're talking about before AC, like, back in Julius Caesar day, I saw an amazing, like, videos, and of course, I'm going to be offending people, that's not the case, that's not the goal, but I was, I, I saw an amazing documentary that was talking about the similarity between um, Aurelius, which was one of the Julius Caesar, um, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Boxer, not a fire yeah, yeah, kind of boxer, but one of the best. He is, he is what brought back um, so attention to 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 boxing. So, for example, look at boxing in general. You think about YouTube boxing because that's what brings the view right now. Um, but if you think about f uh, before YouTube boxing, um, boxing as a sport was facing a lot of. Uh, Difficulty because it wasn't that popular, right? So if you look at guy that took the kept the sport in, you're gonna be looking at two guys in particular. You're gonna be looking at Floyd Mayweather. You're gonna be looking at Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Manny Pacquiao that has been a forefront bearer of the sport for a lot of time. Floyd, which is more of a public figure, Floyd is kind of like the McGregor of uh, boxing. Both have a loud mouth. Both don't give a fuck. Both are flashy. And it's kind of cool. 31. 31. Yeah, 31. Yeah. How do you know? Hey, you're good. You're, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Um, mm. And yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like boxing as a general, like, if you look back at back in the days, like, we're talking about the 70s, the 80s, right? Is that I see? No, that's wine. That's wine. And, um... <laughs> wine and crystal lights with a bit of water that way I'm not too tipsy but I, I get the, I get the feeling you know but it's true like if you look at the 70s and the 80s um boxing was the sport oh Stella <laughs> Stella is a OG honestly Stella is a OG the best have a nice day uh Man City so yeah so if you look at it like in the 80s and 70s boxing at such a high place it was one of the, the not the, mm, one of the most popular sport right but if you look at it, it went down and down and down and down and down. And people didn't even know boxing. Um, but they knew Pacquiao and they knew um, so Floyd Mayweather. I have a lot of friends from the Philippines. And <laughs> many Pacquiao is still their hero, you know. And he put the Philippines on the map. But I think it's a great thing. Mm. 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 I wish I was having a be right now. So to be it or shit. Mm. But actually, mm. I thought like the Aurelius, and we're talking about the, the similarity. Is there a mm. Eric similarity between? Um, with, I, I'm trying to forget to remember his name, but he wrote a book in Jesus Christ. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. And I think, when you, when you tell me you, you're gonna leave, bro, have the have follow through.
It's okay. You tell me what you think about me. I won't try to argue. I hold it against you. There you go. There you go. Guy's been a bit of a troll. Bit of a troll, bit of an achy douche. Yep. So we muted. Or her. I feel bad, dude. Well, I do. I, I felt. I feel like I don't know for a bro for a long time. I didn't know. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, dude. I'm gonna have to call my mom. That her um, lasagna is the bomb. Again. Yeah. I'm gonna of lasagna. Mmm. 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 Honestly, it's so good. Mmm. At the end of the day. Make sure you be lucky. I think that apartment is a little bit it's dirty. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> mm. I, hate, I hate words in the book avocado. I miss watching Wild Bang. I do miss watching that. Um, I, To be honest, like, I get it, okay? You tr trust me, I get it. You kind of like avocado. A lot of people hate him. And to be honest, I, like, I kind of get it people, why people hate him. I do get that. But, like, tell tell me about someone, right? Someone currently doing mukbang. Nobody. Nobody. When is the last time we heard about 70 So? When is the last time we heard about Zach Choi? Um, Zach ASMR? Okay. Zach ASMR, but his real name is Zach Choi. Um, when did we, last time we think we heard about Veronica Wang? Nobody does. I'm not making more. And it's sad. Because you're literally seeing... You're literally seeing some... Like, not era, but genre. Genre is a better, it's a better word. You're seeing genre of content. Being stopped. Um, like, at the same time, I get a competition subjective. Like, for example, right now we're talking about mukbang, right? To me, the whole prank genre on YouTube is. It's. it's Like, when I was big, it's catching predator. So, sexual predator, child predator, which is fantastic, but the second, the second that you're, you're seeing that there's views, and that is the kind of problem with views. Like, for example, like. I'm watching, I was watching this guy called Vitaly, and he was doing like a child pred. And on his first stream, basic child pred, right? Which is super cool. Like you're doing, you're doing something that is really, really important. Then it was continuing, it was continuing, it was continuing. And then when you look at it like, like his 10 video, now the kid had seven children. And um, when you look at the last video, it's constantly up and up. And I'm thinking that maybe you're creating content. So by creating content, it's good that you, you shine a spotlight on the problem that is at hand but if you're making a mockery on a subject you're not you're not um you're not giving awareness to the subject you're you're making a farce out of it right and besides it's just it's just a way of making money out of a super disgusting crime dz what's up my guy what's up guys welcome in my homie uh mr dz many five d1 d only legend in chat. How's it going, my dude? It is nice to see you for a second day in a row. Oh, we had a wonderful, eventful Sunday. I was gonna burp just to welcome you in, but I, there's no burp that's coming out. Uh, my apologies. Uh, my apologies. There you go. That's for DZ. That's for DZ. Let's applaud the guy because he deserved it. How you doing, my dude? Whoa. How you doing, my dude? Bit of wine in there, right? A, a, a little bit of wine. I enjoyed your last night talk so much. <laughs> Dude. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad because then... I Because I, I don't know... I don't know what time you have. I always forget. But I know for a fact that usually when I stream... It's like... It's going to be like... um three, 2 o'clock p.m. or 2 o'clock for me. It's going to be bedtime for you. And even when you stand the, the moon... To me it was like 6 o'clock. But now... um Now it's dark. You can see... um You can see outside. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. I'll show you how nice it is outside. Today was a beautiful day too. How's it going today? Oh, you had a good day and I love our podcast today. Honestly, honestly, 
<laughs> no pressure to you, bro. No pressure to you. But um, like yesterday, I usually do like um, I usually do. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm having a hard time flipping the camera. I usually do like an hour, or an hour and a half. And thanks to you, dude, we did the longest, the longest fucking live we ever did. Um, so yeah, so how was your day? It's always bedtime for me, oh, dude. Dude, yeah, that's my that's my problem. You want to see something better? Uh, disgusting. I'm a, also my apologies. Here. <laughs> How nice is this? And the best thing is we have a balcony. Like I live in a one and a half. We still manage to have a balcony, right? And before you see this little fence here, it didn't exist. But besides, look at this shit. This is disgusting. But hey. Like, don't get me wrong, my building is perfect. I live close to a grocery store. I know in Boston it was be harder, but dude, I don't know. I'm so sorry, don't know. I, 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 I called you a dude and you weren't a dude. I, I'm so sorry. I do apologize. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Before there was a police officer, because this is, um, so, like, like a little story about Lachine. Um, so this, I'm not going to tell you the name of the street, because you guys are going to be able to know where I, where I live. But this street is one of the most, like, um, not popular, but... Oh, I don't know. Thank you so much. How, how was your day? Uh, do you know meet DZ? DZ meet... I don't know. And, yeah, dude. So, this, uh, this street was very popular. And people would be like, hey, there's police after me, so I'm going to go in the hallway. And then they put a fence. And it's super cool. Like, again, living close to a school, living close to a graveyard... Which, for a lot of people, is creepy. For a lot of people, it's weird. For, for the, cool, the cool people, we know that it's the go-to spot for, uh, for Pokemon Go. You know? And, uh, <laughs> the, again, the grocery, the school. Um, Lachine is a small town, so I can pretty much get anywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. You're secret safe with me. But, uh, yeah, so Lachine is a small place, so it is always nice. And yeah, uh, tomorrow, dude, to, to <laughs> to, tomorrow is going to be a special day. Tomorrow I'm only doing a video in French. Only in French, because it's a national day of the French culture of Canada. So yeah, so tell me what you did, bro. Tell me what you, what you did, uh, DZ. Nah, bro, not today. Not today. I told you yesterday, because yesterday I, I, had, I had passion. Today yeah, I'm smoother. There's no... A little bit of wine. Right, so your secrets are safe. It's funny, secret seal lips. Alcohol sees mine. And yeah, it, t today was a really good day. Tell me what you did. Emily, thank you for being here. Dude, you're, 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 you're amazing because we've been live like seven, for like 12 minutes and you came in. And you missed my mom delicious lasagna. Oh, I kept you some. I kept you some. And... <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> yeah. Love you, Dizzy, bro. Dude, this is what I like about having, like, having conversation with people. Oh, so I thank you so much for the for the share. Hey, Satella, you're too sweet. Like, trust me, if I could do something for you, I would. And, uh, like, this is what I like about having conversation and, like, having conversation with people for a while because you're starting to have inside jokes, you're starting to have jokes, and it's just a fun time, you know? It, it's, it's crazy because when, when, you, when you look at, when you look at, it's my cousin, still in here? Yeah, she, she is. She, not he. She is. Um, it, it's kind of cool because you look at, you look at people, um, kind of like in, <laughs> in real life and you're like, oh, we're going to be friends forever. And then you meet people on social media and like, this is weird. This is a different friendship. This is a different relationship. And then it's the same thing because at the end of the day, it's too human, right? It might be too human through a screen, too human uh, through like a, 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 what should we call it? A keyboard? I think it is. Does it make sense? A keyboard? The way you type or when you text. Yeah, it's keyboard. Um, so yeah, so you, you meet people through keyboard and then you have a conversation and that's a little... Don't say her name, dude. Don't say her name. Now we know her name is Melinda. Oof. Say so her name is my mom. <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. She did. Melinda. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. 
the expose. The expose. Listen, she did tell your name, okay? That's a shame. But it could be worse. She could have said, hey, Melinda. I think Melinda is one of the. Uh, she doesn't care. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, <laughs> she is. She is. She's also five foot, which is the definition of you can accomplish great things while being small. Um, shout out to Mona. Mm. The best mom in the goddamn world. Y'all have cool mom, sure. But she's still making the lasagna at 31 years old. No? Cool. So now, it's the time that I love the most. <laughs> no, not not coughing. I'm gonna be cheating the algorithm. A sanctuary now with fears and lies. I think Melody is a really cool name. I think Stella Melody is a really cool name. Doesn't be Janice or Ink Vendetta, because those two names are fucking phenomenal. If you're asking me, they're, they're, they're some of the best names in the biz. But I, like Stella and Melody are like close, close nine and ten. It's French, maybe it's French, franchement. Oui, c'est français. C'est à dire Melody, M E L O D Y. Le sanglo, a melody. Mais c'est dit Melody avec un D I E. A die, c'est uh, francophone. Mm. Again, if you're looking for a good song, nothing, nowhere, dark magic. You know what? I'm gonna take a small, 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 small break. I'm gonna put that song on. Oh, man, this is beaucoup plus massa. This is beaucoup plus massa. C'est vraiment gentil, ça. Oh, Marcus, thank you for the like. Guys, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna rock a piss. Uh, cause I've been drinking a lot. Um, too much information. Oops. I'm gonna change the song. And I'll be right back. You lovely people. Again, thanks for everybody to, for being here. Thanks for everybody for being so fucking cool. I listen to the song. Oh, yum, yeah, yum, yeah. yum, yeah, 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 yeah. And like what I said in that video, like what I said in um, the Strawberry Moon Night is the truth. Like, I feel like, I feel like we're all going through shit, right? Melody is going through shit because her cousin tells everybody her name. Um, got Stella going through shit because Melody is having like a better name because it's French, you know? It's like. I'm so jealous of my cousin. Got Marcus, who's a fucking straight up G, dude. He's straight up G. I've been guessing. Yeah. 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 It's a good song. It is so good. And again, um, I'm going to tell you guys this story about this. It's a cool story. Again, um, love every single one of you. I know I, 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 I'm just going to get some water. Don't worry. And rock a piss. Um, like, I'm still super grateful. And like, listen. It is super easy to be a dick on this internet. It's super easy to be a dick. Uh, my apologies. That's one. Only one. You guys are lucky. Uh, I guess I lied. It's super easy to be a dick in a live or in a chat. You guys are being genuine kind of people. And for that, I am more grateful than you guys can even uh, imagine. Now, take all of that. Take all of that speech. Take out the burp. And that is super sweet. I'll put it in ketchup on poutine. Sacrament de Colis. Uh, ketchup on poutine. It's like. It's like. <laughs> it's like. When I. Okay, so if I'm dating a girl, okay, and she's putting ketchup on poutine, I'm actually locking the door. So poutine, this week, since you're from Buzz the Amadoud, is nice fries, right? I'm gonna go with curly fries because they got more crunchiness. You're gonna be having gravy. Gravy is basically um, a beef stock with flour. Um, I think a little bit of milk, but I'm not sure. Um, and some cheese that goes quick, quick. Be right back. I've been chasing in the moonlight. Was I a mistake? Something to repay? Someone to go away? Drove my bike to your mom's house. I've been casting spells in the moonlight. I understood that it's you, night. Rise again. I'm writing this song. 
Bart, what's up my guy? Third day in a row, you fucking legend. How's it going? Dude, I'm having a great day and I'm hoping also that you're having a great day because uh, we got DZ, we got Spark, we got Melody. Fuck, I don't know. It's Melody right now. We got Stella in the chat. We got Marcus, the fucking legend. And of course, we have uh, this other guy right here. Uh, bro went to the bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> that piss felt good. That piss, I needed to rock that. Uh, a bit of worry about the collar. A bit of worry, but you know, there's worse thing in life, like putting ketchup on the fucking poutine, right? So yeah, so um, nothing nowhere, as you guys know. Uh, did you dance in there? No, couldn't dance. Uh, last time I danced, I had a horrible accident. The accident of 98, where I uh, broke an ankle. And since then, my dance moves are very, uh, and I'm here again, are very restrictive. I've been casting spells in the moonlight. No, I've slept in a few nights. Rise again. Write this song. Uh, not nothing nowhere. Dark magic. So the, nothing nowhere. Um, there was a, a twenty-two year old little inky, uh, with a five foot four. Now technically, technically, I'm still five foot four, but I got better shoes. So I'm five foot five. And a few nights, at least you're singing Skeleton. <laughs> yes, sir. Guys, there's gonna be a. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Bro, DZ, you fucking gem. You fucking gem. J G I M. <laughs> Bro, Jim. Jim. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a good mood, and that's thanks to you guys. You bring me happiness. Like, I, I've been constantly talking about, like, in neutrality, like, oh, you're having a good day, but nothing happened, and that's thanks to you guys. Nothing happened today, but it was a good day, because I got to talk to some of y'all. I got to some, to, to, I talk, got to some, ugh, too much wine, possibly. I got to talk to shitty people tonight, but hey, you guys are making all worth it. Oh, dude, that's what I'm singing, that's what I'm singing. I was singing, ugh. So, uh, little little confession. Um, like I said yesterday, uh, DZ has been my homie for a year. Uh, DZ lives in Bosnia. Um, exposed. Oh, DZ, thanks for the love. Thanks, thanks for the like, my dude. Guys, follow DZ on TikTok and on Twitch, por favor, por favor. Uh, dude, you got it. You got a Jingle Bell cover. Uh, it's copyright strike. And I am, and I'm here again. Uh, it is copyright strike, so technically it exists. Casting spells in the moonlight. So yeah, so um, I asked DZ to take a picture of the moon. And I felt bad, so in the video I was singing, and I said, what can I sing with this song? Song down the side, what I did wrong. Uh, besides, Jingle Bell is uh, not, not, not in my Hanukkah album. I'm going to release my Hanukkah album. I think there's a lot of money to be made with Hanukkah songs. Um... Who sings Christmas song? A lot of people. A lot of people. Mariah Carey. Can I can I rival with Mariah Mariah? Can I rival with Mariah Carey? Sadly, no. But who does Hanukkah Hanukkah songs? Can I rival with nobody? Absolutely. So we listening to nothing. <laughs> Magical bells. But yes, dark magic. Interesting. Hey, dark magic is jingle bell. Um. So yes. Yeah, so nothing nowhere was a band that I. Okay. So long story short. It was a little 22-year-old Inky, so that nine years ago, who lost his best friend to unlife himself, who lost his girlfriend who was depressed. And a lot of people were, they were trying to help little Inky, because little Inky was defenseless. Been casting spells in the moonlight. I've been listening to this for the whole night, so. Now I'm found right again. And yeah, so a lot of people, they wanted to help him. And I was like, dude, I don't need help. I need to be alone. Um, But like, I was listening to a lot of music, for example, most of them white, which was all about affirmation. I was listening to Falling Reverse, which was all about um, betrayal. And I was so good. And there was this ar artist, Nothing Nowhere, who was basically proning or... Mm, not technically selling. Oh shit, almost fell. Really good. Um, if you guys notice, if you guys are wondering... A little raspberry with some strawberry uh, crystal light. So yeah, so... Um, and this guy was proning, like, being alone, but still being... Not constantly being happy nor sad. And if you felt through depression, yes, you're going through sadness. You're, you're, you're sad. You're, you're feeling pain. Oh, DZ, oh. You're fucking booming the likes, dude. But guess what? You found yourself a, a valid adversary. Let's, let's beat up uh, DZ with the likes. Oh, what did I do? 
Oh, I can't, I can't like, oh, there, there you go. <laughs> Try to fight, bro. Huh? Trying to go faster than me? I can't, bro. Who can't? You'll never be able to. And yeah, so nothing nowhere was like, dude, um, it's going to feel great. It's okay to not feel happiness and sadness. And all my life I was like, dude, I want to feel happy. But I was willing to do anything to be happy. And that's led me to unhappiness because I couldn't achieve happiness. Right? But, oh. Uh, Big Shawnee, appreciate you, man. I don't know you. I'm sorry, dude. Um, so yeah, so nothing nowhere. Really pro that message. Really push that message of being able to be in that gray zone, not necessarily happy nor unhappy. And it was kind of like a good thing because that's what I needed. Um, then I felt I started feeling better, so I started. Lis I stopped listening to Joe, which is nothing nowhere. But the sad thing about J nothing nowhere was he achieved the same thing as I did. He was feeling sad. If you look at album like um, Clarity and Kerosene pretty sad if you look at artists if you look at like, like the album he did with travis barker super fucking good uh but you can see that he's feeling better and then uh he broke his with his girlfriend so the further the first song he released in two years was venom and venom is also super good if you're looking at a song venom venom is a bit more metal um but yeah so venom came out venom was like his dark song and if you look at it it's still that dark song but the sad part is nothing nowhere worked so hard to get to where you want it to be got the opportunity working with artists like Fall Out Boys, worked with artists like Travis Baker. He did an old album with Travis Baker. Travis Baker, a lot of people know him from being Co uh, Chloe, Courtney, been casting spells in the moonlight. But a lot of people know Travis Barker, Travis Baker, sorry, for being the boyfriend of Courtney Kardashian. Homie did more than that. Homie was elite, um, a drumist, I was looking for the word, for Blink-182, and if you were born in the 90s, early 2000s, uh, you know Blink-182. Things down in the moonlight. DZ, I fucking appreciate it, bro. You're so kind. And yeah, so, um, he was, he was an artist, he had the opportunity to write with them, but then he fell into a depression, and, uh, it sucked, because that album was everything. He was on the verge of blowing up, and he gave it up. And it sucks. And on one hand, it sucked because you were able to blow up and you didn't. Which is true. I admit, it's true. But there's a, a another part of me that understands and that believes that, yes, you were, you were almost blowing up, but you chose your health. You chose your mental health versus fame and, and rich and being rich. And I feel like a lot of people aren't willing to make the sacrifice. A lot of people are not willing to sacrifice their happiness to put fame aside for to being happy. Like I'm seeing... Uh, <laughs> and it sucks because I'm, I'm seeing people like, again, I'm not going to name a name, but there's a, there's a YouTuber, right, who wrote a... who released a, a new video yesterday um, about being a kid at Tetris and being the Tetris champ, Right? And, dude, uh, the video, I watched it. It was really, really fucking well made. But the dude didn't make a new video in, like, months. And he's going to get more views than people who've been working. And you could be, you, you could just be jealous or should say, hey, that's not fair. The reality is it's only one video, right? And I think if you work hard, and yet again, anything is subjective, even entertainment, like, talking about depression, talking about being sad, I think there's a, probably for that I feel like the problem we were talking about before like this stream we were talking about um, people that were fake content right and that's a shitty thing to do uh, but if you're faking content like you're, you're you're not as good as somebody that's not faking it but if with some people that's not faking it there's there's content for everything and anything to be done and I think that's that's wonderful it's so wonderful to see that it's so wonderful to understand that there's this opportunity for every single person to do something. And again, I think this is thanks to YouTube. If you look at YouTube, uh, the number of new millionaires, the new money that was made, right? It's insane. If you look at, um, I've been casting spells in the moonlight. Oh, man, what a good day. Again, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate y'all. Funny, because to me, this is more of like, it's, oh, I think it's a bit more, uh, hard it's harder than streaming um but it's i think it's almost more re mm. chasing spells in the moonlight i feel like it's almost more rewarding than um twitch because on twitch like again 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because technically, like... Oh, my, my, mm, my thing with, with Twitch, right, is you... This week, like two days ago, uh, the DLC for Elden Ring came out. And that DLC was something that we waited for for years. And, and a- anyone, right, anyone can put a DLC, uh, a DLC clip on YouTube, on TikTok, and make a lot of views because it's one of the most searched subjects. But that, that legacy is... Not a legacy per se, but that attention comes from a place where people are interested in the video game and not necessarily you. And um, when you do a live when there's no subject, but you guys decide what the subject is. I think there's there's been more to that than just, like... <sighs> we were talking about, okay, so we are talking about Travis Baker, like, a couple minutes ago. And the fact that he, he is known for being the boyfriend of this person, right? So this is the same situation. Are you popular because people know you as a boyfriend of? Or are you popular because you made it somehow, some way? I've been chatting spells in the moonlight. And I, I think this is so interesting. I, I think it's so fucking interesting. Juice the kid, thank you for being here. Love Juice World. And like, for example, if you take A.V. Bieber, people hate her. But... Chances are that if she wasn't dating an, a, a famous person, nobody would give. Uh, can you say hi, Carter? I don't know how to say Bay nine nine nine. Hi, Carter Bay nine nine nine. Is that good? That makes you happy. Bay. I don't know how you say that. Sorry, my dude. Sorry, my dude. Appreciate. Of course, bro. Of course. Of course. Anything for people that are asking nicely. All it takes is a, 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 a this, like bay. I don't know. I, I'm okay. I'm French. Um, I'm French. Bay. Is that, is that how you're supposed to say it? Emmerich, thank you for being here. Samuel. Samuel. Oh, bonjour. Comment tu vas? See. Okay. Bay. Okay, it's fine. Ça va bien? Passe une belle journée. Uh, demain, c'est une journée peut-être en français. Fait que j'essaie de, de remettre le fait que je suis francophone en, en vue comme ça. Le monde pense pas que je fais ça. Hey, c'est weird. Why is he speaking French? Tu comprends? Ça c'est des songs. Ça c'est plus spécial, mais c'est quelque chose que je cherche à faire, tu sais. Parce qu'encore une fois, j'ai, j'ai la capacité de, j'ai, j'ai, le, j'ai la chance de parler deux langues. Fait que, Kisha, comment tu vas? Guys, on, so many French people. Woof! Kisha, Kisha was the first person in one of my life. Right? First people. Hey, Kisha, je voulais m'excuser pour hier. Je voulais m'excuser pour uh, les problèmes d'hier. DZ, of course, dude. Of course. Dude, have you saw that? Did you see that? On YouTube, it's so fucking cool. They added something like... Like a, a month ago? Was it a month ago? Was it two months ago? They had... So, so okay. So, you're going to go... Um, if you look at the video on YouTube, right? You're going to go on subtitle. Okay? Or a closed caption, which is the, the square and CC. Close caption, right? And you're gonna be like, you're gonna click on that. There's there's three options: auto generated, um, auto translated, and you're not gonna click those off. You're gonna be translating in the language you want. And I did test. I check out the videos in English, and I trans and I make the, put it the cap, the closed caption in French because again I speak French. I'm like, okay, well, how good is that product? Because we know that Google Translate isn't great. Uh, so I wanted to test it out, and it's actually pretty fucking scary. So, yeah, so we've been watching some Cory. T- uh, <laughs> oh, the hand men are here again. We're watching some K drama, Korean drama. Oh, listen, it's good. It's it's okay. Let's let's look at it like that. It's good if you. Okay, so I'm not, look, I'm not here to tell you what to think. I'm not here to tell you how you think. But I know for a fact that you've, I know for a fact that you experienced Google Translate. Right? I know for a fact that you, you experienced that. And it was shitty. I know that for a fact. I know because you've been here, I've been here, everybody that's been here. Right? Um, it's better. Is there, is there were more work to do? Yes. For example, somebody's going to say, hey, I'm going to go live. Live is similar to a live and um, in French, you're going to say vive, which is a life. Uh, uh, vie. Uh, so there's there's work to do, but it's still good. Um, Ethan, I would love to bring you in, but yesterday I had bad a bad experience with somebody um, who said the N-word uh, in my life. So because of that, I'm not able to invite you. 
Although I wish you the best, and you know what? I actually not gonna invite you, but I'm gonna follow you because I think you sound like a good person that says please. Because you said please, you get a follow. So again, sorry, bro. That's life. I'm gonna use Google my, my little cousin save the voice saying zombie apocalypse is coming. coming. <laughs> it's awesome. That is awesome. And does it work? Is it kind of good? Well, that's the thing with like with AI, like the the like with AI, it's limitless what you can do. Uh, with AI, it's it's getting a lot better. So I feel like AI is the reason. Sparse, what's up, my guy? I'm sorry when you were when you came in, bro. I went to rock a piss, so I miss it. I'm get <laughs> that's good. Oh, dude, nice. Nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. As long as those little fuckers are scared, who gives a shit? All good? Good. Good. How was your day, dude? You had a good day? DZ meets Park. Spark meet DZ. I think you guys met yesterday, but possibly not. Listen, if I was to remember every single person that meets each other, I'd be here for a while. But yeah, so with the AI, uh, it's, 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 with the AI, we're talking about AI and translation. Um, I think it's pretty good. Like, we're, we're, we're getting there. Um, I mean, it's weird because, like, for example, like for example, in Bosnia, right? There's gonna be a certain places in Bosnia who are more, uh, who have a better slang, who are having a better accent. There's places in Bosnia where they're gonna also speak Russian. There's places in Bosnia where they're also gonna speak Romanian, right? AI is the getting scared. Yeah, very scary. Like, okay, so it's getting. I. AI is getting scary, yes. But that's not the scariest thing. That's not the scariest thing. I'm sorry. AI, yes, is getting very scary because it's growing. The problem with AI is, isn't... is Okay, let's be clear. Let's, let's make something very clear. The problem with AI isn't the state of AI today. It's the fact that AI is in a, in a, in a position to improve on itself. AI is able to evolve on... Is able to... to, um, to to improve itself, it is able to to learn. That's the that's the word I'm looking for. AI is able to learn, so AI isn't uh, doesn't need a human to rectify it. It's going to rectify itself. And I think this is scary. But what is really scary is we get access to some AI. Yes, we get access to that. But this is the access we have. There's possibly better AI elsewhere. We just don't have access to it. And that is scary. That is real scary. Like the like now we're having uh we're having talk about okay, well if you're if you're if you're in a self driving car, right? Example, like you got a car that's is being driven by AI and you hit somebody. If you hit somebody, you kill them. Like holy shit. What do I do? Technically the car AI is the culprit. The car AI is the one that hit the person. But you're behind the wheel. So who is who is guilty? And it's clearly two people because AI, although it doesn't have a face, doesn't have a name, is also a being or a sentient being. AI is becoming a sentient being. And by becoming a sentient being, is she be, um, it should be regarding the same role as other sentient being. That is what's scary. That is what's really fucking scary. Because again, there's no, there's no telling where it's going to stop. There's no telling where, how they're going to help. We're all going to jail. Yep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And with AI, like, I, I know this is going to sound crazy, okay? This is going to sound completely crazy. But, um, well, bro, uh, I'm thinking a lot, you know? Uh, what is really crazy is, to me, okay? Again, this is all a question of opinion. It's all a question of perception and the subjectiveness of the subject. So, basically, um, if you ask people, if you ask 10 people, okay? And that's a fact that you have to check out on YouTube. I don't know the video by, by heart, but if you look at the fact, right? Um, you, you ask 10 people, hey, if you had a superpower, what is the first thing you do? And out of 10 people, two people had like noble, quote unquote, noble um, goal. So uh, most of them were selfish acts. Most of them were things that were going to improve their life in particular. Now with AI, um, if you have access to better AI than most people, you're able to get more powerful. Like, for example, right now, and this is going to sound stupid, it's going to sound crazy, but I do think and I do believe 100%, I'm speaking my own facts, 100%, right now, the only way to get power is through money. And that's the only way, right? But with AI, the more it becomes accessible, the more people are going to take advantage of it. So with money, doesn't matter how hard you work, doesn't matter how much you make, right? There's going to be, there's people in the world right now, there's people in the world who are trillionaire, 
right? Trillionaire. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. You're going to work your whole life. Your whole life. And if you're a millionaire, you're lucky. Those motherfuckers are trillionaire, right? You know what's a trillion? You know what's a trillion? It's a, it's a thousand billion. A, a trillion is a thousand billion. And a billion is a thousand million. You're going to make one million in your whole life. It doesn't matter how hard you work. You'll never get as powerful as those people. But with AI, anybody can become powerful. With AI, everybody can take, oh, like, not take over the world. Uh, but everybody can do something that is, bro, I don't have that much either. <laughs> Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. And it's scary because we're, we're getting there. And with AI, it's again, it's... And what is the scariest thing about AI? Uh, it's not so much where it is. It's the understanding. So, for example, right? I did. I gave this example yesterday. I gave this example yesterday. And I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it again. Um, you see here, this is a pen. Okay, this is a pen. And this is a paper. Okay, super simple, right? We're gonna take. We're gonna take sparks. Okay, we're gonna give. Oh shit! A mosquito. You're gonna give sparks. A, oh fuck! You're right, my guys. Fuck shit. It's like a mosquito nest or something over here. I'm gonna give Sparks a pen and a paper, okay? And I'm gonna give DZ a pen and a paper, okay? So, there's so many jobs that could, yeah, dude, like, bro. When you think about it, okay? When you think about it, there's more job that can be achieved by AI than not. Tell me a job, right? Police officer, cool, good job. Police robot. Tell me a job that you think, and okay, sure, police robots are not gonna be tomorrow. Police robots are gonna be in 10 years, in 20 years, sure. But there's still a possibility. There's still a possibility, and that is the scariest thing. So, I'm gonna, again, with my example, I'm gonna give DZ a pen and paper, I'm gonna give Sparks a pen and paper, I'm gonna take a pen and paper for myself. We both have the same tools. I'm gonna say something different, with AI, it's not so much how good it is. It's not so, not so much how advanced it is. It's how you use it. And by by understanding that you're using it, it in a certain fashion, it can lead to something. And there's something called the butterfly effect. There's something called the... the um, not avalanche. The next man's kusha gonna put on She's a demon on Don't give me anything, please. <laughs> no, no problem. I have a bunch of... I have a bunch. Plus you're my homie. Plus you're my homie. Uh, yeah. It's... it's the snowball effect, for example, the butterfly effect, you're gonna take something, right? And you're gonna do something with the AI that leads to something that leads to something that leads to something else, right? Um, and even then, I'm gonna come back to the power of money, right? It doesn't really matter. Even if you were to, lin to win the lottery, you got super, super fucking lucky, you won the lottery. Congratulations. You won $10 million. You're still, you're, you're still not gonna be close to a trillion. It is rich. You're richer than a lot of people. You're richer than a majority of people. But to other people, you're still poor. And this is the power that we have with AI. Everybody's going to have the same thing. People are going to be able to access better AI, of course. But with the rate that it is going, it's, for example, right? I'm going to sell, um, for example, take a PS5 and take a PS4. Take, I think we're all gamer in here. I will never be as better. Oh, dude. thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you, my guy. Honestly. Uh, but yeah, if you take like a... We're all gamer, right? If you take a PS4 and a PS5, you understand that PS5 is better. Right? Arguably better. Playing with my PS5, as we speak, nice. Nice. What are you playing, by the way? Um, and the thing is, like, you understand that by logic, right? By logic, the PS5 is better. When the PS5 came out, it had some issue, it was more expensive, but now it's super accessible. So everybody can get it, right? Do you think Do you think that rich people, if, no matter how rich they are, okay? Do you think they have a PS6? Guys, hear that. Wait a sec. Get a little something sound in for you guys. And then I did wrong. And then I did long. And by the long. Can you hear? Then casting cells in the moonlight, I slept in a few nights. It's beautiful. And hopefully, I'm gonna get some thunder. Look at this shit. If I what I did wrong, then why would I be long? There's something calling about the rain, isn't it? 
Or GTA Sick. <laughs> bro, bro, they, yo, that's a trick. That's a trick. We waited so long for GTA Sick. It actually exists, but it's rich. Rich only for now. That would break the internet. Renica, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was. I was. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go and change song. I'll be right back. Let's put some venom. Whew. Mez. Dude. How nice it is that it's raining. I wish I could put music, but I'm gonna get copyrighted because even guys know that I record this for YouTube. Same one to say YouTube. Hi YouTube. Do so. Uh, what should I listen to? Let's do the no no no. No, first one I'm doing. Let's do okay. Let's do. I've been casting spells in the moonlight. In a few nights. Let's do. I'm looking for a specific song. I'm looking for Venom. These songs. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> Bro, thank you. And right here, right here is the most um, self promoting I'm willing to do. You, you see, it's weird because I, I'm not. I don't want to be a dick, but just having you two, just you two in the chat, is enough to make me happy. That is a weird thing. It's also a scary thing because it means that you know it's kind of crazy. But hey, it's a good thing. It is a good thing. Number logo. Okay, so we're gonna be taking a note for a video. Not trying to label. We're listening to North Hammer. Nothing nowhere, dude. Multi like day job. I would put it, but I'm gonna get copyright. So let's put it just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. How nice was that, guys? How nice was that? God damn. What are, you, what are some of the shows that you watch these? Because I'm looking for new shows to watch. Um, so you write for the ID for the ASA video. Uh, right now. Uh, right now. The way to... The way to get power is... No, no, name any phantom. Cash. Cash. I always watch Survivor. Ooh, for reals. Are you fucking kidding me? Nah, -uh. that is kind of cool. That is really cool. Wait, are you watching the American version or uh, the? Is there more than version? I don't know. I I've, I've watched a couple of seasons. So I know some of the uh, Survivor. Uh, yeah, I know Rob. Rob is my one of my favorites. Rob is one of my favorites, honestly. And uh, there was this little guy. Um, who was this little guy? Survivor cast. I think it was Russell, but I'm not sure. No, 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 I'm little easy. Take it serious. If you're not feeling this, you're probably delirious. I'm more one, more one. They can never be me, cause I'm the Reaper. It's not. It's, yeah, Rob, Rob, this guy. One of my favorite. Rob is one of my favorites. And there's also, uh, cause I'm the Reaper. In your dream, cause. Santana. Name that he fanned Danny Phantom Fucking Adam Sunshine Dude Love that shit This song changed my life dude Okay uh, Survivor No 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 Why am I saying Loria Survivor uh, Player Also Also uh, so, Okay American Okay well, wait, a, wait a sec I always watch Survivor You find it American version Yes I watch it to see Guys I don't think you understand Sweet. Dude, this doesn't make any fucking sense. How is that possible? 45 season. 45 season. Holy shit. Oh. Are you joking right now? Like a huge fan? <laughs> what? Oh. That is so impressive to me. That is so... <laughs> other ones. Two seasons per year. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, never mind. Sorry, sorry, my apologies. I thought it was fucking one season per, per year. It's like, let's probably like, holy shit, I think it's show for 35. Well, it's still 27 years. Okay, so it possibly was like a season per year in the beginning. And then they switched it up to two because it got popular. If you're looking for a show on, uh, if you're looking for a show on YouTube, uh, like, give me a sec, give me a sec. 
And one other, another one that is really fucking good on YouTube in free is gonna be Big Brother. Let me see you. Maybe other UK. You're gonna be able to get uh, it's, it's CBD. It's CBD. Or right, Celebrity Big Brother. Oh, this song too. You have the complete season, so Celebrity Big Brother. You're able to get a lot of season. I have to be careful because I want to get the thunder. And dude, this is an amazing show, which is complete season on YouTube. It's fucking free. Thank you, my guy. Thank you. I appreciate you. See, this, this, dude, guys, take notes because DZ, two gentlemen. True gentlemen. Yeah, BB is another mental game. Uh, BB had such an influence on me. Sur mm. Survivor, I get why it's so popular. The only, like, Survivor was a good show, but the, the only reason why, to me, Big Brother is a bit better is because um, it's on YouTube, and I was able to get them. Um, so you guys know that I wasn't the hardest worker, so I never had, like, a, a stable... No, that's not true. I had a stable job. The last one I, I had, the five years I had that job, was the most stable job, was the only stable job that I ever had. And um, I didn't have Wi-Fi, because, again, it was a monthly cost. So, Big Brother, on being on YouTube, you can download Big Brother and watch a whole season in a weekend, and it's just so good. But a Survivor, because Survivor, what I think is good, Survivor is also true luck, for example, like, you're going to find a, to a totem. There's some luck in Big Brother also, but, like, you're able to find a totem. And the craziest thing is, for example, if you're on uh, Big Brother, right? If you're on Big Brother and you got lucky because you found a totem, well, there's a chance that you didn't use a totem, and because you didn't use it, um, you, you you wasted it, right? You wasted it. On Big Brother, the lock is, oh, I got this. I think it just locked in. I think this covers, and we could play in a first game together. What the fuck? Is there, is there one uh, for a Celebrity Big Brother? No, a Survivor game? Are you kidding me? There's a Big Brother game? I don't know. I don't know. But yo, uh, Big Brother is actually pretty good. Um, again, it's because... Uh, sur <sighs> to me, it's so different because if you look at Survivor, right? There's a lot of things that comes into it. Oil up. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have the fact that you get hungry, the fact that you're in a place where you're not, you have to build a good settlement. If you didn't build a settlement, you're fucked. If your other teammate don't work, you're fucked. But with the with the house of Big Brother, like even if somebody's a complete asshole, we got one week and then we vote him out, right? And with Big Brother, it's more like a social game. And there's some, there's a lot of physical aspect to Survivor, which to me, like. It's hard to compare to a show. Yes, they're two mental game. I think they're two mental game. I feel like this is the not the only, but one of the only like thing that they have in common. But they're they're both like really fucking good. And again, the fact that you can find every single season since two thousand and two on YouTube is good. It's really good. And um, in the way to get power is cash. Deserve my right to feel uncomfortable. Deserve my right to be afraid. I make mistakes and I am humble. Every self of the way. I'm not to be a better person. Wanna know the master plan. Cast your stone. Cast your judgment. Your I am the... Balance, no comfortable reserve of power. Uh, this might sound a bit. This sound a bit. What? Robots have survivor, big brother. What? Oh, for reals? Okay. Uh, what well, do I need to for Roblox? Because I'm down. I'm down. If you tell me, it's I'm super down, dude. <laughs> I never play Roblox because you know, I have to guide me a little bit. Um, but dude, Amazing Race also is good. But the problem with Amazing Race is like. You, some seasons are really fucking good. That's my issue with... Ugh. My issue with Amazing Race, some seasons are really good. Some, some seasons are complete shit. If you look at Big Brother and if you look at um, Survivor, there's always going to be like a saving grace of the season. There's always going to be moments in the season where it was good. You know? I never played Robux Head until I found out what it exists. Let me tell you, grown-up people that play... For real. Okay. Okay. Well, dude, I trust you. I trust you. If you tell me... You're going to have to guide me how to play. You're going to have to guide me where I can get the game. Never say only kids. Well, I, she, <laughs> that's a liar. It's a lie, dude. Um, again, I don't even know how to get Roblox. But if you t look, if you want to play Ro Roblox, we're good. Plus, we'll, we'll make it a social event. Uh, me and you play. And I'll find some good people like 
sparks to join in. So that's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. Survivor sounds like good. And we'll, we'll, the first game is gonna be Survivor because you you like Survivor. Um, so Bands of Power is unchecked. Back like a yo yo. Nice school day. We're not trying to label. Honestly, dude, it's so good. This is about a day job. Same as real game, but you start in tribes and you have them. What? Bro. You, you, you had me at tribes. Same tribe. Could it be rival? True. What was the game? What was the game that you said was uh, friendship breaking? I, 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 oh yeah, Among Us, Among Us. Among Us, except I'm going to Channel 3. Oh, do it right away, right away, like everybody else. Like a name, Danny Phantom. And you know what? Yeah, that's the a, that's a one. And uh, no, we were, I was saying, oh, we could play Among Us. You're like, no, 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 it's going to break the friendship. So Fire's is actually a pretty good, pretty good ID. We're going to be Channel 3 and we're going to lose. But at least we lost together. Name to Danny Phantom, all my shit, and like a motherfucking end of. I need to be on my teeth, I'm going to lap out. No, 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 like I have now. I'm sorry, on my dumb like I'm trying to find a video. But I'm not finding it. No, Joe. When G like you see me on the TV, um, it's gonna be uh, Big Brother. No, 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 blame little easy. And no, 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 take me serious. If you're not feeling this, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a video for you, dude. I'm gonna do a video just for you. Cause I'm the reaper and your dream cause If you know that no, 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 no. There's sobriety I go for the hate turning you know, up This is sorry me I'm more one Sorry me Uh next make a video for DZ Uh no 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 get out of the young Santana Livy team like my name Danny Fanta Uh Nana the ma fucking Anna Uh Tana Little name that he signed up into a life. Should he always uh, play a loyal game? If someone tries to get me out, it's done. Blind sign after blind sign. Nice. That's a, that's a, that's the thing. That is the thing with uh, that is the thing with with Survivor. Blind signer so often. Who to you? Who to you is the dirtiest player? Who to you is the dirtiest player? Because me, I know two. I I from okay. So it's been a while, but I know two two uh, player. I know by heart it's gonna be um, Fabio. The guy, the guy was called Fabio, and Rob because Rob was a actually like a really good player. There's another one too. I don't, I don't remember his name. I'm missing some people. I'm missing people, but yeah, some people were actually pretty good. It's a shame you don't have it on uh, YouTube. I'm trying to find some people. I'm not gonna get it. Okay, let's do most popular player. Most popular. Emma, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to have you here, Emma. Guys, follow Emma, please. Yeah, I think it's uh, Nicaragua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name wasn't Fabio at all. He was just called Fabio. Which I thought was super funny. Most popular. I, I, I think it was super funny. Parvati, Aubrey, Queen, Sandra. You know what? Queen Sandra does ring a bell. But I'm not sure at to which uh, degree. Uh, why are you scared? What happened? How was your day, uh, Emma? You doing good? I, I Yeah, so again, of course, I, I know Rob for sure. Um, Queen Sandra does ring a bell, though. What was the other one that she said? Uh, Aubrey. Aubrey, no. Uh, even the craziest thing about Rob is that his wife was also, uh, yeah, it was al also one of this, uh, Survivor cast member. Uh, the vote had been tallied. Best Survivor player to, to never win. Oh, shit. Oh, Russell! Okay. Russell. And yeah, that's the guy I'm talking about. Number eight. Number eight. What's wrong, Emma? Are you okay? Yeah, she won him over him, and oh, <laughs> dude. Hey, guess what? I mean, as long as as long as she played a good game, that's all good. And you know what? I I, dude, I I respect the fact that he married her because he could have done that, but it's only a game. Um, I also, for some reason, number. Uh, wait a sec. Wait a sec, guys. Number. 
15. I feel like I saw her somewhere. 15. I thought it was crazy, bro. He plays a great game, but he burns bridge. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But I I, I, I think... I, I do think... <sighs> I think Russell betrays everybody. I think Russell burns bridges because he's insecure. I feel like Russell um, was afraid that people were going to betray him. So, okay. So, this here's the mentality. So, if, you, if you're watching... This is why watching shows like Big Brother and Survivor is nice. Because you understand uh, mentality. So, Russell... And that's, 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 again, that is factual. No, that's not factual. That's right. That's my opinion. I think because, because Russell was so willing to betray people, he thought that everybody was betraying him. So you think something that lies often, that lies all the time. And you think that other people lies because they relate to those people. Um, so for Russell, since he was so eager to betray, since he was so, it wasn't a big deal for him, he thought that other people would betray him. And that got him paranoia. So the fact that he burned bridges was because he thought other people were, were going to bitch, burn bridges when they were not gonna. Of course, Mary, she won a million for brawl. But yeah, they're all oh, nice. But hell yeah, hell yeah. At, at the end of the day, and then they have, they, if they have babies, if they have kids, it's gonna be some, something cool, dude. It's so much, it's it's so cool that you watch a BB also. Never try to meet someone better. Yeah, I think that making more big moves is better. It's not about Reggie. Um... So, in the case of Russell, a lot of time is because um, by making big moves. So, you see this? You actually see this in Big Brother also. Uh, a lot of the players are going to make big big, big moves. Uh, the reason for that is because at the end of the show, they're going to take the, the last people to get evicted or eliminated. And they're going to put it in a, as a jury. And that jury is going to be able to say, hey, I think they deserve to win. I think they were playing a better game. And I feel like those people do a, a big game. They play a big move like that that way. When it comes time to get choose, when it comes time to make a choice, they're like, I made that big move. I, I eliminated that big player. So I think that's why. And again, I think I think the more risk, the riskier you, you play, the worse it is. Espresso, thank you for being here. Uh, and so yeah, so it's all a question of how you want to play it. I feel like, because again, because again, if you look, I'm, I'm going to be annoying. I'm going to talk about Big Brothers again. I'm more familiar with Big Brother, but again, if you take a player that never does anything, that just participate, that survives, a lot of the time they're surviving because they're not a threat. If they're not a threat to the player, they won't win. They won't win. The the simple the 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 one single time that um, a player is gonna be is because for example if you take Russell right Russell let's take Russell as an example Russell has six players in the jury and he sends four of them at the jury and he betrayed every single one of them the jury house is gonna say well Russell is an asshole we're gonna make the other person win because he's an asshole but if you're winning because the other person is an asshole you're only winning because they're losing you're not really winning they don't want him to win so you're the best your next choice you didn't win the other guy just lost. That's a difference, and, but some people make big moves just to, for sake of a big move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't discuss that. You're, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely. Bravo, bravo. A big move doesn't always equate equate a right move, and that's right. That's right. I think that's that's also important in life. You're gonna make some, you're gonna take some risk, and not all risks are, are worth taking. And I think that's a that's a beautiful way, beautiful way to say it. Like. <sighs> But you know what I mean, right? He's still boasting. He, he, he's trying to prove, like, hey, I'm the big dog. But absolutely. Um, <laughs> and again, what you're saying is true, but there's, like, a balance. Like, happy Prime on Kosla. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Happy Prime on to you, too. Happy Prime on to DZ, of course. Um, and yeah, so, like, making big move isn't always the right move to do, but that's... Also, like, you need to do some, right? For example, if you had a chance to eliminate a player, if you had a chance to, to like, to tell people, uh, hey, this guy had to tell them, right? The fact that you didn't tell them, the fact that you, you let them win, does look bad on your part, right? Exactly, you can just do a risk and go rob a bank. <laughs> yeah, so let's go, you know, get a mask first. Absolutely, absolutely. And you're going to say, okay, well, is it, we're getting a mask. Am I committed to getting masks? And that's kind of cool. That is super important because, again, like if you take a player, like there's a, there's a lot of player that were that, that made some really good fucking movies. Or a lot of player, like there's a, a guy and celebrity brother, 
Stephen Bear, right? And his old shtick was annoying everybody and he was making the show. And he was making everybody so uncomfortable they would avoid him. And what was good about that was because he, he would always be in the kitchen. He would always be in the garden. So people had to stay in their room just to to avoid him. But by staying in the room, they weren't making a show. And he was the only one making a show. So people would save him week after week because he was the only one making a show. So that's a risk. Getting hated by the people in the house to win or not to win. <sighs> Whew. Hell yeah. I did it on my own, no promo. But it, it's so cool that you watch Survivor, dude. I didn't know that about you. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I feel... Like, I do feel bad for Russell, because I don't think he... I, I really feel like it, it, it's coming from a place of insecurity. I don't know anything. Wait, Rob is seen. Please, can you go to YouTube and type in Robux Outlaster? GC Blindside. Okay, wait a sec. I won't be able to play it, but I'm going to be watching it. Um, Roblox. Outside. No? Outlaster. <gasps> what? Wow. Meow. Wow, that is so cool, dude. That is so cool. I didn't even know that existed. Holy, dude. Holy. That is nuts, dude. That is nuts. Dude, you don't understand. I had no idea that such a thing existed. And it, it's because, okay, I'll be honest. It's because, like, Roblox was, again, told to me, like, oh, it's a kid game. I never really paid attention, but that is fucking insane. That is seriously insane. Wow. Wow. This is nuts, dude. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out out there. Dude, it's popular as shit. It's popular. What? I check Roblox as well. Nice. Okay, good. Good. I, I, don't, I don't mean to be offending anybody, you know? Also, um, as a kid, <laughs> have you ever heard of Total Drama? Total Drama, have you heard of it? Total Drama Island. Island. Oh, there's a reboot too. Full season. Yup, yeah. <laughs> this is nuts, dude. Yo, this was my shit when I was a kid. That was my shit. And you know what? It's funny because for... Okay, okay, okay. Listen. It's, uh... It's... Subjective, okay? It's a question of perception. But there's a lot of similarity between a Total Drama Island and Survivor. There's a lot of there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Holy shit, dude, dude! I don't I cannot believe that you're you're that big of a fan of. Why did you never said so, Cassidy? Thank you for the like. I appreciate you. You're so sweet. Why did you never mention that, dude? Holy, guys, follow Cassidy, please. Such a sweetheart. Such a sweetheart. But yeah, bro, this is insane. You didn't. You never told me that. You never told me that. What the heck? Stella, welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Okay, total drama. Okay, so there's total... So there is complete season. Is Emma in here? Yeah, she said she hated Stella. She said, oh, Stella, she's in here? I hate her. This. Let me leave. Yeah. If she asked me, that's really rude. Really rude. I, I loved you and appreciate you, bro. But I just got to... Oh, dude. 
same here, dude. Same here. Because, like, a lot of people, a lot of people here say, oh, dude, it's just a show, chill. But when you, when you experience Survivor, when you experience Big Brother, it's like, oh, psychology. And that's very interesting. And, dude, again, another point in common, man. Homies for life, my guy. Homies for life. Why? Th- I don't know. You're asking me. I was like, dude, Emma, this is kind of rude. Uh, I know. She said, well, apparently, I'm her best friend. Apparently, I'm Emma's best friend. Because the guy's going to have to... I'm going to have to salt stuff together. I mean, she's going to download the, the entirety of... Uh, to- oh, oh, oh. Yeah. She's going to download the entirety of the drama, Total Drama Island. Because, again, it's a good show. It's a good show. But, dude, 45 season. Holy shit. That is impressive, my guy. That is really impressive. But honestly... Bowing down to you, my guy. Bowing down, dude. This is gangster. Super gangster. Sela, I hope you're okay. I hope I didn't break a friendship, huh? It's just, that's what she said, you know? Then she started meowing. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, uh, full... Uh, remove. We're gonna remove one of the... deep because, again... Uh, Got one of them at. It is kind of nice, dude. It is kind of nice. They even did like a, a young. I want to see if I can check. A, but, dude, for the robots, I'm super down. I'm super down. Just let me know when you want to play. Just let me know. So, before that, I need to know. I need to understand how to play. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, dude. <laughs> We're going to play, I promise you. I give you my word. I give you my fucking, my fucking word, I give you. I'm joking. I'm like, I got you. <laughs> Joke. I, I was jealous because you're not my best friend. Dude, I, I, you know how to tell me like how how to play. Then have to tell me how to to like to, to download it on which one. Like, is it a uh, <laughs> you you sir? Uh, is it on? Is it on? Uh, oh, oh fuck! I got a, a bad bubble. The heck is, what is that, guys? I wanna be famous. Oh no. So I'm sorry, Stella. It was a joke. I'm sorry, guys. Just a little joke. Survivor, I want to check if there's a lot of like full. Oh, ooh, full episode. Okay, okay, okay. So there's the Australian, right? I'm sorry, guys. There's the Australian, uh, Sur- Survivor season three. So I could be watching that. That could be like something worth watching. That could be something really good to watch. I could be something really interesting to watch. And I think I think I downloaded the complete drama island. Oh no, I missed up. Okay, so not a big deal. Um, yeah, ah, fucked up. Eesh. I'm on the wrong channel. I wanna be famous. Like imagine like you grew up on the old drama island. You would absolutely love Survivor. And again, if you didn't, if it wasn't coming from you, like if it was from somebody, else, someone else, then hey, just try Roblox. I'd be like, eh, eh. not super down, not super down. Uh, let's do Survivor. So I used to watch Turkish Turkish Survivor. There's no such there. It was last. What? Okay. Well, you, yeah, you see, that's. I mean, there's there, there's a. Uh, there's there's always like different perspective like to be to mm, at the core at the core survivor is challenge survivor is challenge like there's way for player to to be like strategic but at the core it's a game of challenge the only reason survivor is mental psychologic because people are making it right that's the only reason guys i'm not gonna be alive for a while longer oh i don't mind i'm gonna be till the end of the the battery, but I'm at uh, 12% battery. So, yeah. What I do two per day. I wanna be. So, I don't know. What do you think about would be strongest aspect? Physical, social, or strategic? I mean. I think social. I think social because social, you're if you're able to be close to somebody. So, so to me, it's social 100% because if you're able to close... You close somebody that's better at survival, at survival, right? They're gonna take care of you. They're gonna take care because it's your friend, right? And uh, if you're able to get close to somebody that's better at physical game, then it's gonna serve you in a physical challenge. And if you, 
if you're the friend of everybody, if you're close or popular with everybody, then shy chick isn't really an option. It could be a problem if you're too social because people are going to say, yo, everybody likes that guy. Let's get, let's get, get that guy out. Nice. I, I, bro. The, the, the worst thing is, like, maybe not Survivor, but maybe more uh, Big Brother because Survivor, dude, Survivor is tough, my guy. I'll be, I'll be... I'll be honest with you, Survivor is tough. Like, there's a lot of, not, not a lot of player, but, like, if you ask, the majority of, the majority of people are going to say, dude, Survivor is really hard physically. If you ask people like Rob, if you ask people like Russell, if you talk people like Aubrey or, or Queen, the Queen you talked about, you mentioned the Queen before, what was her name? Queen? Queen, 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 oh yeah, there you go, there you go. I think you said it, okay, please, okay. No, that's not it. It's a bit earlier. Yeah, Fabio. Yeah, nice. There you go. There you go. I got you. Yeah, Queen, Queen Sandra. Oh my God, I know Queen Sandra. I know Queen Sandra. Like a light skin, dark, right? A, a a kind of like a not not an old woman, but kind of. I know who you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Long curly hair, light skin, dark. Yeah. Queen Sandra, she was, bro, she, she made the rules, dude. Queen Sandra, Survivor, I'm, I'm guaranteed, yeah, 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 I remember her. I never watched her season, but she, yeah, 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 yeah. I think she, I think she played with, uh, she, didn't she play with Rob? Yeah, dude, yeah, she did. Yeah, she played with Rob, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that, yeah, dude, yeah. What, what? What? Okay, so t tell me about. Okay, so tell me about Rob. Do you think he's more physical? Do you think he's more strategic? Do you think he's more of a mental kind of guy? What do you think? What would you associate equality of Rob? Because again, if you look at other people, player, I the guy lied about his. Oh, yo, she, she called him out that he's lying. Oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> She she said that her his grandma was dying, and then him and his Omi they went away, and his Omi told him all of the good stuff about the other survivor, right? I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Now you 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 I bro I love you I love you DZ, but you're not being cool right now. You're not being cool because now you're making me want to watch Survivor, and there's no way to watch Survivor. Yeah, rude, bro, rude. I'm rude. <laughs> I don't care about him. <laughs> oh shit. Queen, bro. Queen. <laughs> I don't care. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's not that. Oh shit. It's a life. That's it. Queen Sadra, baby. <laughs> Sending his ass home. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. That's gangster. That is gangster. Bro, and it's, it's, but you, you see, you see, like, Queen Sandra, in her own way, took a lot of risk. Took a lot of risk because she was like, no, I'm the fucking boss here. I'm boss bitch. I'm going to be in charge. You, you like it or not, I'm going to be in charge. And that's risky because, yes, um, being, like, I thought about the food chain is a lot of, like, there's a lot of rewards, because people are going to come to you for decision and in the middle of everything. And you got some sense, not some sense, but some form of control, right? And that's that's a pro. But when people, like, there's an expression, when the people are unhappy, the crown fall. And Sandra actually gave herself the crown, which I think. And again, I'm not talking shit, okay? If you like this show, I don't, I'm not going to say shit. But... You say this. You're not, we're talking about survivors. We're talking about a, a, a player. You, we talk about Big Brother. I can, t I can talk about ca about players. But if you talk about Amazing Race, I don't know if there's that many players that are worth mentioning. I don't know. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's only me. Maybe there's a ton of them that I don't fucking know. But it's still like you get what I mean, right? And again, I'm not trying to talk shit, right? I'm not trying to be a dick. That's just the way I feel. And, um, that's it. I mean, there's just a couple of them. And, like, if we're talking about Rob and Redemption Island, okay, so, I think, okay, I'll be honest, I think I saw Rob, I think I saw him in Redemption Island. I think I saw him there. I didn't see the first, I, I didn't see his first season. Because you talking about his, his wife, 
that was an old okay so you talking about his wife yeah you talking about his wife that was also a player of survivor i didn't see that i didn't see her win but i knew his wife from survivor also i didn't know they were there in the same season i was like maybe she's a cast member because it's like a big family of survivor right but yeah i think i watched him on redemption island uh so i saw him with russell uh, and no one even tried to get him out so well no, 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 please, 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 don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. The reality is, as much as I enjoy talking about Survivor with you, I got no fucking way of seeing it. I got no fucking way. And because I have no fucking way of seeing it, you know, and it kind of sucks because I want to, now that I'm talking with you about it, I want to see it. You're, you're making me want something, you know. But, uh, was real. that's Eero versus, <laughs> now it's complicated. So you have to be a fanboy. But you see, the redemption, like, I think I saw the redemption because Rob came in and says, listen, um, I'm not here to win. I've already, I think he said I already won. I came close to winning, something like that. And he's like, I'm not, I, I'm not here to win. I don't care about winning. I'm just here to have a good time. He said something like that in the beginning and people were like, oh, well, he's not going to be playing. And then he was making move uh, behind the scene. And but because you're saying he played a perfect game, I think that's what you mean. Um, Hero versus Villain, it does ring a bell. Then, yeah, Redemption Island. I, okay, so listen, I didn't check a, a full season of it. Um, but I did see some episodes of that. Um, also, for, for Russell in Villain, um, I don't know if... I don't know if, um, Rob... Because if I, I googled Rob right now, I googled Rob, it's like, oh, Villain. But he is liked. So, if you like it, Survivor, it's for two reasons. Either you're a super chill human being. The Queen Sandra, I don't know if she's, she's, um, it's anonymous, not anonymous, it's, um, what should we call it, in Con consensus? What do you mean when everybody vote, everybody vote the same person? What do you call it, a totality? What do you call it, DZ? Everybody voted the same way. I don't remember. What do you call it? I want to be famous. Kenny. Okay, let's do this. There's a word for that. Oh no, say Kenny Oz Usainer. Who is Sainer? Unanimous. That's why he's my boy. That's why he's my fucking boy. Exactly. See, for Rob, I think it's unanimous love. I think unanimously people like Rob. I'm not sure if it's the same for Queen Sandra. And again, I think I, and I want to repeat myself because I think it's important. Queen Sandra played a risky. Queen Sandra really played a risky game because when you're coming in balls, balls, balls down and willing to 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 make like not not necessarily enemy, but you want to be in charge. Like you're gonna rustle some feather. Would you say that Rob, the on the Redemption Island, you think he would be the best player? Who is your so not your favorite player? Who is the best player? The player that con continuously made some good choice. Because my issue right now is if you talk to me about Rob and you just mentioned that Rob was on like three season. So to me, Rob would be like a contender. Unanimous. That's the word I was looking for. I said anonymous. <laughs> Guys, we reached, uh, we reached tier 7. I've been casting spells in the moon, light. Ooh, we got a flare. We got three flares. We got three flares. Hell yeah. We got three flares, so to attack more viewer. Tum, tum. Tum, 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 ta -da -dum, tum. And again, we're going to be live for, if I can get live for another 20 minutes, uh, dude, I'm telling you guys, I know I'm repeating myself, but TikTok to live is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Uh, DZ, can you can you tell that screen, my boy? Um, I don't think there's a perfect player. Even those who won first season and came back later. Well, I mean, they did the same thing for Big Brother. They they bring back players. They they they, they bring back other players, and those ones are often called like, oh, you know, the game. It's not fair. I mean. All in all, I think I think it doesn't matter. Like for example, right? Talk about perception. We talk about understanding. I don't think it matters if you're if you if you play the game before. Let's say you play the game, right? And you thought you understand shit. You, you you thought you understood how to work the game and how it worked. 
Um, even if you have this perception, oh, I'm going to be doing a great game, you can plan a whole game. Like, for example, even Rob, Rob perfect game, as you said, Rob didn't plan a perfect game. Rob was able to adapt to do a perfect game. Rob was constantly planning, okay, so this happened, how am I going to face it? How am I going to be seeing it? And I think that's the, that's the reason why he was able to play a perfect game. If he, you can't plan, there's only the amount of planning you can do is always limited. You're not going to be able to plan everything at all. If you're lucky enough, you plan 60% of it, but most of the time you're going to have a plan, and most of the time your plan is going to be step by step. So if one of those steps fucks over, your whole plan got to shit, you know? Mm. I mean, if you look at Big Brother, and look at Big Brother, and if you look at the, uh, if you look at the, Oh shit! Okay, seven day, seven days, dude. It's it's tough because again, like, you, you can't plan too much. But when I was clicking heart, mean I clicked before, but I don't know what it means. So basically, what you're doing is you're 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 doing likes for the um, you're doing likes for the stream. The more likes you have on the stream, the more popular it gets. So the more people are gonna be coming in, right? Now you can okay, so. Ugh, dizzy dude you're asking the wrong guy I understand a little bit how it works but I'm not sure how it works so from what I understand okay so you're seeing the screen right you're seeing the screen you're seeing my name right you're seeing my name yes what does clicking heart oh sorry you, you see my name you see the 2.6 the 2.6 are the number of likes I have right then you see on the right there's a number of people and if I click there I can see who's there right so perfect you got dz um if i click for popular life or league d3 i'm gonna see okay so who's in the league right who's able to do who's the the num the ranking i'm at top 99 percent, which is not great um perfect so um how to get diamond i don't know i don't know how to get diamond here i know how to get level up so um what i'm gonna do and you're gonna go on youtube you're gonna see it you're gonna have duration an hour 43 you're gonna have the overview you're gonna have the the, the okay so diamond TikTok reward you big diamond based on the popularity of your life. You can see reward. Okay, perfect. New follower, perfect. Life journey. Okay, good. So yeah, so there's a bunch of things I know. Um I know that um the heart does have to be popularity. So for the daily ranking, right? The daily ranking, for example, like oh, time for family. It's <laughs> good. Good, bro. Good. If you want, I don't care if you don't want. It it is it because dude, I'm having a lot of fun for TikTok. And um I feel like, I feel like, listen, I'm not giving up on Twitch, but I feel like it's a nice alternative because I'm always looking for ways to contact, to, to talk to you. Like, for example, um, like, I'll, I'll be completely honest and like, I'm sure that you're going to understand, right? I'm sure you're going to understand, but let's say, okay, let's say I'm playing a game and I'm playing, for example, I'm playing Elden Ring, right? And I'm shimming for four, four hours and you're here three hours, which I'm super grateful for. But if for three hours you talk about Survivor, people are going to say, well... I'm here to talk about... I'm here to watch a video about Elden Ring, right? But for a live, there's no, there's no, like, there's no limit. If I want to talk about Survivor, I can talk about whatever I fuck I want, you know? And on uh, Roblox, going to be cool. Dude, again, I had no clue, like, bro, you saw my reaction. I had no clue that existed. No clue. No fucking clue. That's crazy, dude. That is insane. I've been casting spell in the moon... Light, no, I haven't slept in a few nights. I'm gonna write it again. I'm writing the song. I know that song. It, it to me, it it's so insane. It, it's so insane because it's so different. Like I, I feel like I'm really giving up on Twitch, which is not the case. But it's so different being live on Twitch and being live on TikTok and. Like, it's weird, because I, I'd be live on TikTok every single day, but I don't know if I'd be live for 8 hours. On Twitch, I can be live for 12 hours, for 24 hours, no problem. On Twitch, is different, you know? But for TikTok, it's nice. There's this endorphin, this sense of happiness that's going on, right? I'm writing these songs. So, guys, we're at 9% of battery. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the last song. Uh, last song, and after that, we're gone. We're gonzo. You shout out to people that came in. 
Arusha Kapel for the people were fucking cool for the good times. Uh, this is so cool, dude. Look at this shit. I don't know. Thank you for being here, guys. I'm sorry I'm looking at my phone, but again, I've been live for an hour and a half. More than that. <laughs> right? Good. Ooh. You, you hear that? You hear the rain. I really, really want to get the. I really want to get uh, thunder on camera. And I know it's silly, but still. So happy, dude. Again, it's something new and something that's really cool. Uh... Woo, baby. No, I didn't do shit. No, um, I, 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 I don't know why, but if you, you have to look, so you have to look beneath the ink vendetta. So you got my icon on the left up left. You're going to see the below. You're going to see like a little, really little heart with the number. So if I do like that, then it's going to upgrade. So uh, I don't know if the four likes where it go. I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked, dude. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, dude. You're doing enough. You're doing enough just by being nice to people. You're doing enough just by being a good person. Fucking love you, dude. Um, by the way, um, yesterday I made you mod. Uh, you don't mind, right? You don't mind. You, it says... Your screen is lying. Your screen is a lie. Uh, dude, I, again, I asked you to be a mod yesterday. Um, I hope I didn't, I, you didn't seem... You, don't, you didn't feel pushed. You didn't feel like I was forcing you to be a mod. I just like you, dude. And you've been around for a while. I'm gonna, I want. I want like. I want you to understand that it means something to me. And I believe in. I believe in doing things for people, that are. And it's not necessarily a reward. It's not necessarily a reward system per se, but it feels like a reward. It's a little something to say, "Hey, I appreciate you." You know. I think it's pretty simple. I think it's. Uh, I think the little thing matters. To be honest. Ta 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 -da -da. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have such a good evening. We still have two runs of uh, fucking the tower to do. Then we're gonna be able to stream. We're gonna be able to stream. I'm gonna go back to Fortnite, Elden Ring, Roblox, baby. Be fun. Be really fun. <laughs> And then I'm gonna take a good shower because I need a good shower, dude. It's been a while since I had a good shower. Like a, a long 20 minutes shower. And I feel fantastic. The song, the song of the day, My Ordinary Life, uh, Living Tombstone. It looks silly, but it's a pretty good song. It is a pretty good song. And when you, when you, if you listen to the song, if you ever choose to listen to the song, you have to choose to do My Ordinary Life, right? You're gonna do living thumbstone and you're gonna do lyrics. Lyrics is gonna be the way to go because the lyrics if you look at the, the um, if you look at the what should we call it? At uh, the video clip it's a bit silly, but when you look at the lyrics, it is actually kinda gangster. Uh guys, I'm gonna have to go at four percent battery. Uh but I wanna thank Emma, I wanna thank Stella, I wanna thank I don't know, I wanna thank Sparks, I wanna thank DZ, DZ fucking Omi. I want to thank Cole for being sweet. I want to thank every single person that came in and was a genuine sweetheart today next to no troll. A little bit here and there, but nothing too bad. And that is a testament to how good people can be when they choose to be. I know that I love you, that you matter. I'll see you guys soon. Be weird, be yourself. DZ, night, bro. I know it's fucking late for you. Good night, my guy. You need some sleep, my guy. You need some sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for I mean, oh, uh, dude. Me too, my guy. Me too. Like, honestly, dude, you're possibly the best thing that happened to me on social media. Yeah, to be honest. Like, again, I'm not complaining, right? I'm not complaining. I met some good people. I met some people like I became friends with, but nobody as close as you. But I'm eternally grateful. Eternally grateful. Love you guys. Peace.
Die still, eyes closed, let the world just pass me by. I still, eyes closed, it will I think I'll fly. I the leaders, I'm to guide us and feel for the very last time. Two, 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 three, 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 three,